Hi, Dr. Hagmeyer here, and we've been talking a lot about a leaky gut in the last couple of videos. We've been talking about many of the different causes, and if you've been diagnosed as having one, uh, or you think that you have one, you may be wondering what you should and what you shouldn't be eating. And so in this video, what I want to do is I want you to be familiar with what I believe is really one of the most important home remedies that will help you just tremendously in supporting your gut naturally. Now realize that there's a lot of different causes to a leaky gut, and if you haven't seen my video titled The Top 10 Causes of a Leaky Gut, then I highly suggest that you do that. Now with that being said, there are many different things that you should add to your diet at home that will really only help facilitate the whole healing process. Now in my opinion, one of my best recommendations when it comes to dietary considerations or dietary additions is that of cultured vegetables, okay? Culturing or fermenting is really, it's an ancient art. It's uh, all about preserving the, the, the nutrients found in those vegetables that not only imparts flavor, but also creates a host of beneficial enzymes and B vitamins and probiotics and things like that. And it's these nutrients that are super, super important for people who have autoimmune issues, that have thyroid problems, digestive disorders, hormonal imbalances, blood sugar problems, things like diabetes, and people who also experience just chronic pain and chronic inflammation of joints. So why are these fermented foods really so beneficial? Well, if you consider that the intestines have really long been considered just the central hub of the immune system, there's trillions of bacteria or flora that play a vital role in almost all aspects of life. And, and it's this beneficial bacteria that really help you absorb minerals, helps you absorb vitamins. It makes vitamins. It produces vitamins like vitamin K2 vitamin B, vitamin D. They play a role in burning and storing fat. And in, case, in many cases, it's been shown that these types of bacteria, when they become out of balance, can lead uh, a person to obesity, okay? And people that have these uh, in, uh, flora imbalances are more prone to weight gain and digestive problems and things like that. These gut bacteria also play a very critical role in the conversion of inactive thyroid hormones into the active thyroid hormones. So in other words, that's that T4 hormone that needs to get converted into T3. That's done by the uh, bacteria, again, in your GI tract. Now, in recent years, researchers have been finding more and more that these gut bacteria also play a role, uh, a significant role for that matter, in mood and mental health. And I can't begin to tell you how many times people have come in our office that have had depression, have had anxiety, have had um, things that relate to psychiatric problems. They've been on all sorts of medications. And as we started healing the gut, as we started treating their body holistically, they've been able to completely come off these medications, completely come off these antidepressants and these anti-anxiety medications. So we know that this is just a powerful, powerful thing that can be done for people that suffer with these uh, disorders. So what causes a leaky gut? Okay, well we know that inflammation from the foods we eat, we know that chronic stress, we know that food intolerances can lead to a leaky gut, we know that many cases of food allergies, okay, through an inflammatory and immunological response can also lead to a leaky gut. We know that medications, okay, this is extremely important because every day people that are, uh, you know, basically suffering with ongoing chronic pain, what are they doing? They're taking painkillers. We know that people, uh, kids for example, that are, have um, asthma or exercise induced asthma and they're using these inhalers that are filled with steroids. We know that these are things that contribute to a leaky gut. Okay, so we know that heavy metals contribute. We know that low glutathione levels contribute to a leaky gut as well. And I did a video not that long ago on just the, the significance and the importance of glutathione. Now all of these things are really gonna cause your intestinal barrier to become leaky and that's where the name really comes from, okay? So when the gut becomes overly leaky, this is going to allow these undigested proteins in the foods we eat into the bloodstream where now they're going to excite the immune system. And that's where problems really begin. These large and these partially digested proteins are gonna trigger inflammation, they're gonna trigger an autoimmune disorder, they're gonna trigger anxiety, they're gonna trigger depression, and they're gonna trigger obesity, they're gonna trigger just a whole slew of different disorders that uh, relate to brain function as well. We know that when there's, a, when there's a fire in the gut, there's fire in the brain, okay? So if there's inflammation in the gut, there's also inflammation and excitation of those neurons uh, you know, in the brain. A leaky gut diet combined with targeted nutritional support is gonna allow your gut to repair and really regenerate. And this really should make sense because one, you're, by changing your diet, you're removing these inflammatory foods 
And two, focusing on supplying the body with the nutrients inevitably is going to help the body repair that intestinal lining. Okay? So now, cultured vegetables are just super important component of a leaky gut diet because they supply the bacteria that are living in your gut with the food that's going to nourish them. Okay? So that's really, really critical. From a dietary standpoint, this should be absolutely top on the priority list. And that's something I really want to encourage you to do is start looking at these, um, these fermented foods. Now, if you visit my site and you type in autoimmune diet, you can print up those guidelines. You can share them with friends, print them up, make use of them. I also want to make mention that if you check out my website, if you go to the recipe section at uh, drhagmeyer.com, you're going to find a section on fermented foods as well as gluten-free recipes. So I want you to take advantage of that. It's a great resource. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email us. But I hope you enjoyed today's video on leaky gut and the importance of including these fermented foods. I'm Dr. Hagmeyer. Take care.